2019 Nissan Pathfinder Midnight Review, on the right path. It went from a Spartan rugged off-road warrior to an everyday urban cube with seven seats, lots of cargo room, and luxury appointments. It lost a bit of sparkle but Nissan is trying to bring a bit of that back to the Pathfinder with this Midnight Edition. It was way back during the 80s that the Pathfinder made a name for itself as a rugged SUV that could tame the most treacherous of terrain. Introduced as a two-door body on frame SUV, it rode on the hard body track chassis and shared some of its styling elements, the three grooves on the edge of the bonnet etched themselves in our memories the moment we laid eyes on them. It was a Spartan workhorse that overflowed with character but Nissan began shifting the model's focus to being a more road-friendly, three-row, plush crossover for the family. It retained its off-roading roots, albeit, to a lesser extent, but since 2013 it's been suffering a case of the blands. Nissan is seeking to eradicate this dreary image with an aggressive-looking midnight variant, but does it succeed? It tried the same trick in 2017 and the trim has returned once again for the 2019 model year. The Pathfinder may never recapture the go-anywhere appeal of the original, but, at least there's more to appreciate visually about this one and this is important, we're not exactly short of choice when it comes to family haulers, but how many of them get pulses racing? Nissan tries to add a bit of sparkle by dressing up the current generation with lots of black trim and as a result, you'd probably give this a second or third glance as it rolls by. The exclusive 20 in black aluminum alloy wheels would be enough to warrant a double take from most but Nissan hasn't stopped there. In fact, it's just getting warmed up. It also adds black outside mirrors, black roof rail, black grade badge with a midnight emblem on the lift gate. Black front and back mud guards, black radiator grille, body colored bumper with black rear lower accent, black back door finisher, black rear spoiler, and LED high mount stop light. These additions help to give the Pathfinder Midnight a unique look in this moodier version that also features Nissan signature V Motion grille and boomerang shaped headlights, is sure to go down rather well with those on the hunt for a family friendly crossover that stands out from the rest. This is just an exterior package but it is now better able to combine performance with style. The interior, tech, infotainment and indeed the drivetrain haven't changed, but there are plenty of changes for the 2018 refresh. These included a new, more aggressive bonnet, new taillights and recessed windshield. The other significant addition was the motion-activated liftgate. All it takes is a simple wave of the foot under the lift gate to activate the power opening function. And with your hands full with bags of groceries, this feature sure is useful. The three-row cabin isn't just comfortable and roomy enough for seven passengers, it is dripping with tech and kit too from two USB ports, advanced drive assist display, climate controlled front seats, Nissan intelligent key with push button start, and advanced Bose audio system with 12 speakers. Intelligent around view monitor with moving object detection, tri zone automatic climate control, Bluetooth hands free phone system, and iPod integration. The 3.5 liter V6 utilizes more than 50% new or new to Pathfinder engine parts and components and is mated to Nissan's third generation Tronic transmission to produce 271 horses and 340 newton meters of torque. But the CVT does take a bit of the fun out of the drive. Even though you can send all the power to all four corners via a twist of the terrain management rotary dial, it has selectable 2WD. Auto or 4WD lock modes, would you really want to chip those 20 in wheels by venturing off the beaten path in this? And here's my biggest issue with the DH162,000 Midnight Edition, it looks too nice to get dirty. I suppose it's good to know its off-road credentials are intact if ever you needed them and the last thing you would call this particular variant is dreary. Thanks to the stylish trim, the Pathfinder is back on the right path.